Hey guys and welcome back to Graphic Designer Pro. In this video we're going to take a look at how to create a modern badge logo using the type on a path tool in Adobe Illustrator. So let's jump straight onto the computer and have a look at how we do this now. Okay, so as you can see on screen here, this is the badge logo we're gonna create. We're gonna be focusing on the composition of this and creating the type. The monogram in the middle, we have created that already, so we're not gonna show you actually how to create that. But if you would like to see a tutorial on creating monograms, we can create that in a separate video. So do let us know in the comments down below if you would like to see that. So going back out, you can see we have all of this in Illustrator. All of this has been outlined and it's all vectorized. Now, over to the right hand side, we have another artboard. So this is where we're going to recreate this logo from scratch. So the first thing we want to do is grab our ellipse tool. So that can be found on the left hand side. And I'm just going to draw out an ellipse. It doesn't matter what kind of colors we have applied to it and the size we can also adjust. So. The first thing we're going to do is create the outer circle. So I'm going to change this to a dark gray. I'm actually going to create a duplicate of this. So just pressing command C and command F to paste in place. You can see we have two circles exactly the same size. And on the one above, I'm actually just going to make this slightly bigger. And we're going to go up to effect, distort and transform, and then zigzag. So this is going to help us achieve this wavy look that we're after. So by clicking preview, we can get a live preview of the effects that we're applying. I want to choose the smooth option from the points. And this is already looking pretty good. Maybe take this down to about eight pixels, make it a bit more subtle. And we'll drop this down to three ridges per segment. So that's kind of the, the look we want to go for. I'm going to click OK. And you can still see the path of the original circle we have here. That's because we've not expanded this effect and it means we can actually go back and edit it if we want to. So to do that, I can go over into my properties panel and in the appearance section, if I click these three dots, you can see we have the zigzag effect applied here. So if I double click on this, we can go and change the settings if we want to. If I click preview again, you can see we can simply change any of these settings, then just click OK to confirm. We'll expand this at the end, but for now we can just leave this as is. And I'm just going to send this to the back, so beneath our other circle. So I'm just going to go to Arrange and Send to Back. So we have our other circle here. I'll just change the colour just so it's a bit more obvious. And what I want to do here is I'm just going to make this a touch smaller. And actually before I start editing this, I'm going to make another copy. So again, Command C and Command F. And I'm just going to make this circle slightly smaller still. And with this one, I'm actually going to create the dotted line in the center of our logo. So I'm just going to select this. I'm going to change this to a kind of light gray color. We'll go to our stroke options in the properties panel. And I want to create a dashed line. We want to actually create a, a dotted line as opposed to a longer dashed line. Uh, what I want to make sure is that we have our cap set to a rounded cap. And what will happen now is if I bump the weight up, you will see that we get a dotted line. So you want to make sure that your dash value is set to zero to achieve this. And we need a gap of, in this case, I'm using eight point gap. But you can see if I bump this up, all that's going to do is space out the dots more. So I'm just going to leave this. I'll leave this at about 10. I think that looks OK. And I'm actually going to change the color. I'm going to make it slightly darker just to give it a slightly more subtle look. Now you'll see down below we have our monogram, so I'm just going to copy this and just paste this over the top. And what I can do here is just select everything and use my alignment tools just to make sure it's all centered. And I actually have this set to align to the artboard, which is why it's shifted. But if I go up to here and click align to selection, I mean it's centered anyway. I'll just move this back. And with my monogram selected, I'm just going to scale this down to fit within the inner circle. Okay, so back to the red circle we have here. I'm just gonna grab my direct selection tool, click on the bottom point and cut this away. So just pressing Command and X, and then again, Command F to paste this back in place. So it means now we have two semicircles, and this is where we are going to position our type. So 
gonna grab my type tool now. Now I could do this one of two ways because we have two open-ended paths here. I can simply select my type tool and click and I can start typing along this path, but I'm just gonna press undo. The other option is I can click and hold and you can see we actually have the type on a path tool. So by selecting that, it's essentially doing the same thing. I can simply click on this path. You have to wait until the path gets highlighted and then click. Now, I already have my text formatted to kind of suit this based on the previous logo that we created. So the font I'm using is called Norwester. It's a free font and it works particularly well for this kind of logo. So I'm just gonna select all of it for now and I'm gonna type, you won't be able to see because the text is very dark. So I'm typing Graphic Designer Pro. I'll select all of this and we're gonna change the text color to white. And with this selected, just with our selection tool, you can see we have some lines here. So the line on the left hand side, this is the start point of the text. So you can see I can drag this I can pull this back down to the starting point of this path and it's the same on the other side a bit harder to see but you can see my cursor changes and that denotes the end point so by clicking and dragging this we can change where the text starts and ends but in this case i want it to go from the start to the finish of that full path now i already have my text centered again we can change the paragraph alignment so I could left align this and that's going to go back to the start point right aligning it will go to the end point but in this case again we want this to be centered size wise this is already pretty good because I'd formatted this previously but you may need to adjust this to sit better within your design so I'm going to go with about 48 point for now we'll see how that goes okay and now I'm going to move on to the bottom portion so again I'm just going to hover over and wait for the the line to highlight blue and then if I click, you can see we can now type along the bottom part as well. So before I do this, again, I'm just going to grab my selection tool and pull the start and end points and make sure they're definitely at the start and end of the path. We'll double click into here, select all, and I'm just going to start typing learn design create. Before I do anything else, let's make this text white as well. And the other line to note with the type on a path tool sits in the middle of the path. So you can see, quite hard to see, but again, my cursor is changing when I hover over this. And this is to do with the vertical alignment. So at the moment, the text is kind of sitting underneath the line. If I click and drag this up, we now can have the text sitting above the path we have here. So this is another important one to know. The problem we have now though is that the top portion of text is sitting above the baseline and so is the bottom portion so it's not flowing around a perfect circle due to the alignment. So what we can do to combat this is if I select both of these, we'll go into type up at the top then we have type on a path and then type on a path options. So I'm going to click this, make sure our preview is checked and you can see we have a few options to choose from. We're going to ignore the effect and flip and we're just going to be focusing on the align to path option. So drop this menu down and we're going to click center and you can see the text is now vertically aligning to the center of the path. So we can just click OK now and I want this top portion text to be bigger and stand out more from the bottom. The bottom section is really meant to be the, the tagline in this scenario. So I'm going to grab the top and you can see we get our text formatting options up in our control panel. So I'm just going to bump this up with about 54 and I want to add some bullet points between each of these words. So I'm just going to add some of them. I'm going to add a bit of spacing as well. Copy this and I'm just going to paste it between design and create. And I'm just going to take this font down a touch in size. Okay, so we're very nearly there. The last thing I want to do is just add some text on the left and right hand side. So in this case, I'm just gonna add text saying established 2019, but to, for short, I'll just say EST. I'll just duplicate this bit of text here and we'll say 2019. And I'm just going to outline this. I'm just gonna right click and click create outlines. I'm just going to drag our two new bits of text to align to the left and right points of the curved text. So you can see the path here, the end point of the top section, the starting point of the bottom section of text. Our new text is sitting centered against that. We'll just change the color of this. And again, I'm gonna go for a kind of gray color just so it doesn't take over from the rest of the text. 
And these are maybe a touch big just now, so what I'll do is just holding Shift and Alt, I can scale down from the center of it. I'll do the same on the other side. I'm just gonna look for my smart guides to align it, make sure they are definitely the same height here. Okay, so I think that's sitting better now. And there you have it. That is a simple way to create a badge logo in Adobe Illustrator using the Type on a Path tool. We also looked at things like the zigzag effect and using a dashed stroke line. So uh, some very simple techniques to create a modern looking logo. What I can do at the end here is just select everything and I'm just going to go to Object, Expand Appearance, and then go back into Object, click Expand again and with all of these selected I'm going to click OK. So what that's doing now is outlining all of our text, so this text is no longer editable, but this is always a good idea when we're creating a logo to create an outlined version. And it just means if you're sending this between other suppliers or designers, there's going to be no font compatibility issues. You can also see our outer circle now has been expanded, so if I grab my direct selection tool, you can see the path is actually following the wavy circle we have in behind. This is the same with our dotted line, this is now also outlined, so it means we can't go and edit this stroke anymore, but it will make sure everything scales properly. The last thing I want to do is just change our bullet points here, just to make them slightly more subtle. So I can double click into the group here, and I'll double click again, and you can see we can now select these individually. And pressing I on my keyboard, I can get my eyedropper tool, and I'm just going to select from the sandy gold color of our monogram. And it just creates a bit of consistency as well. So if I go back out, you can see it's just repeating this elsewhere. So there you have it, a really simple way to create a modern looking badge logo. If you have any questions or would like to add anything to this, do let us know in the comment section down below. Remember to like the video and subscribe for more content. And if you'd like to know more about our fully fledged graphic design course, visit graphicdesignerpro.com. There's a link down below in the description. See you next time.